I'm focused. I've been watching for the omens. I've been listening to everything you said. It's been running through my head, locked and loaded. I got the feeling that you know it. Yeah, I've only just begun. I won't stop until it's done. Till you're broken. Welcome to the fire One of the things that I definitely don't do enough of is playing around with lighting and lighting something that I really want to get good at. It's something that I really want to invest a lot of time in. So Pixel sent me out two lights. They asked me what products I wanted to try out and the G3, which is here. So this is the G3 and the reason that I wanted to try this one out was because I thought it'd be really handy for doing things like events or just having it as a backlight and just having this spinny thing that you can just point the light in any direction. So I thought that was going to be really useful and so far I have actually used it quite a bit. So this is one of the little um, portable panel lights that I really like and the other one is this one which is the Libba, I think it's called Libba or Libba, Libba and let me just turn it off, <laughs> blinding myself. So it's this one and this is a really small one as well. It's a lot smaller than the G3 but both, both are really 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 great and this the Libba is actually um, magnetic, so you can place it in magnetic places. Um, so it's really handy to have that. And it also comes with a little, um, what do you call it? It's like, you know, with like one of those little tripod head things. So it comes with one of those, so you can mount it to your camera or you can mount it to a tripod or anything like that. And then with, let's turn it back on. And then with this one, it comes with, um, I don't know what you call this actually, but it's got a mount so that you can mount it to a cold shoe and you can mount it on your camera or your rig or your cage or something. So um, really handy. And also you can mount it to a tripod as well, which I had it for the beginning sequence of this video. But basically what I'm trying to say is these lights are awesome. So if you are in the market for portable LED panel lights, these are great. And as you could see from the little b-roll sequence I did at the beginning they are both RGB lights as well so I'm going to show you how that works and it also comes with an app so at the moment let's see if this is working accidental okay I think I might have to connect to this again because it's just gone off okay so yeah it comes with an app and this is it at the moment. So you've got all your RGB colors there. Yes, I also do know that I have a line going through my phone. If you saw one of my previous videos, I dropped my phone whilst I was doing a running test and I still need to send it off to be fixed. Um, but yeah, so you've got this app and you can basically change the different colors. It's just gone off again, not sure why. But you can change the different colors so at the moment this is at 2500 Kelvin and this is now at 8500 Kelvin and you can change the intensity. But if you, like I said, if you wanted to do the RGB thing, I'll find that, I should put my phone on silent. I always do this when I'm doing a video. I always forget to put my phone on silent. So if you want to change it, the different colors, you've got this wheel here and you can just kind of move this around and it'll change the color let me just change the intensity so that you can see better so you can change the color it's really great and that's basically what i used for the video at the beginning 
So they just work really well as, um, like if you wanted to use it as your main light, for example, or you wanted to, if you're doing an event and you needed a light on top of your rig and you wanted to be able to adjust it um, really easily, then obviously the G3 is gonna be the best solution because you can just rotate it. So if you're filming different people and you want to kind of just, you know, change the light direction and stuff you can do that with this light um, but also if you just want a really small 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 light then the liver is perfect so they've got a pixel currently have a deal on for black friday and i know that black friday for a lot of companies is almost ending so i think theirs ends on the 30th of november but i also think they're going to have a christmas deal as well so i've dropped some links in the description to where you can actually get these lights and they're really good price i put the price on the screen because i can't remember how much they are but they're a really decent price and since i got them because i got these about three weeks ago or so and i've been using them ever since um i had one outside i went outside and my i was under some shade so i just had it had the g3 with me and i could just kind of put that light on and just rotate it and use it how i wanted so yeah they're awesome lights check them out if you want some pocket portable lights um again you can mount them pretty much anywhere so i had it on this tripod in the b-roll sequence um, you can put them on c stands use them as hair lights but definitely coming up i'm going to be doing a lot more with lighting because i really do want to just play around with lighting and just try and make scenes look cinematic and just, yeah, do do that. So um, at the moment I'm using my Aperture 120D light for my main light for this video. And that is literally the light that I use for everything. Um, but like I said, with these little portable lights, I really do just wanna add more lighting and this panel light behind me. Um, but with these little portable lights, especially doing like product shots as well, I think it'd be really cool to do more of that. So yeah, more light, more on lighting coming up, I think on my channel, just me experimenting. I'll show you some BTS as well of how I'm getting on and stuff. So, but if anyone has any lighting tips in terms of cinematic lighting, so all the basics are covered, but just like cinematic lighting, then that would be awesome. I'm gonna stop now. But yeah, if you liked that beginning sequence, then give the video a thumbs up. Any comments, drop them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, see you on the next video. Bye.